Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2023 top 10s as we're going to look at my number five junior welterweight in the world right now at 140 pounds, the former unified champion, Jose Ramirez. Before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, um, Jose Ramirez entered the year um, or at number three, drops two spots to number five. And I'm not going to lie, Jose Ramirez is from about an, a little over an hour away from where I live, but I have lost a lot of respect for the guy because at the beginning of the year, he straight up ducked Regis Progre for a WBC title fight. Um, Progre offered well over what the mandatory is uh, supposed to get, which is 25%. I believe Progre uh, was at 43 to 45% he was going to give um, Ramirez, and Ramirez still turned down a mandatory fight. I thought that was bullshit and ridiculous, um, and he, his excuse was he's used to making a certain amount for every fight, so that's why he didn't take the fight. Bullshit. He would have made plenty of money, and um, he got offered well over what was uh was offered you know or what was uh, a mandatory challenger supposed to get which is only 25 percent his increase was 17 percent higher than that at least 18 percent and I, th I just thought that was ridiculous he didn't take it so i lost a lot of respect for him in february he would take on richard comey and a good performance here comey was slugging it out with him but ramirez you could tell just the um the size advantage the fact that he's used to 140 just finally overwhelmed Comey and he ended up knocking Comey out in the 11th round and um, you know getting back on track but then he wouldn't fight the remainder of the year uh, part of that was because Teofimo Lopez looked like he was trying to decide what he wanted to do and Jose Ramirez was said to be his favorite of the guys that weren't like monster names that he could have fought after he beat Josh Taylor that fight never came to fruition and now that fight's not happening at all as Lopez is taking on Jermaine Ortiz instead in his initial defense. And it's kind of up in the air because Lopez, I mean, Ramirez only fought that one time in 2023 uh, after fighting only one time in 2022 when he suffered that loss to, um, or was that 21? That was 21 uh, to, uh, what's his name, Josh Taylor. But, uh, you know, Ramirez, I still think, is a very solid, very complete fighter. Um, but three years in a row now, he's fought only once per calendar year. So he's been inactive, and I think that's really hurting him. I think he needs to come back and get active and get in there. Right now, he's um, number two in the WBO, and he's number five in the WBC. Um, he's 31 years old overall, 28-1 and one with 18 knockouts. So again... I think he needs to get back into the mix of things. Um, you know, I really want to, with the WBO being number two, if um, Tiafima Lopez doesn't get ordered to fight Arnold Barbosa Jr. next, I think the WBO needs to order Barbosa and Ramirez. I think that'd be a great fight between the two, and that's the fight that I want to see, and I think there's a lot of people that would love to see that showdown between them. And then there's a... Uh, um, in the WBC right now with Devin Haney, there's just an influx of fighters that should be ordered before him. Plus, the WBC is very flexible. You know they're going to allow their guy, Devin Haney, to fight whoever he wants. And next, it looks like Regis Pro, I mean, it looks like uh, Ryan Garcia is lined up uh, as a potential opponent that they're trying to work out a deal. So, um, one new thing I'm going to start in my videos if he's a challenger. Is there a chance at a title shot this year? And I don't know with Ramirez. Um, I'd like, you know, I, I don't think Devin Haney is going to be possible for him. Um, and then the WBA belt with Roly Romero, I don't think so. And then the IBF with Subriel Matias. Um, it depends on if Matias would be willing to work with top rank in ESPN. If he would... I think then Bob Aaron might allow that fight and if Ramirez wanted that fight, but I'm leaning towards the less likely. So I think his best chance would be the WBO, but I think he needs to try to lock up a mandatory fight first 
with Arnold Barbosa to force Tiafima Lopez to try to fight him in the second half of the year. So we'll see. But, you know, that's it on uh, my number five junior welterweight in the world right now at 140 pounds the former unified champion jose ramirez i hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button leave a comment or subscribe to the channel i appreciate any and all support this is true boxing you've been hit with the truth